The security tab of HTML doc allows you to apply security settings to your PDF. By default as you can see encryption is off. If we change it to on, so do we want to allow users to print? Yes. Do we want to allow them to do we want to allow users to copy? No. Do we want to allow users to modify? No. Do we want to allow users to annotate? I would say that's fine. And you can apply, well these changes apply, these security settings apply. You don't need to have any p owner password here. If you hold the mouse here, as you can see it says if you leave a blank it just creates a random password. But that's not really important because all your changes are made through HTML doc. So we can save that. So yeah, as mentioned, encryption on in this case. We're going to allow users to print and annotate but not to modify or copy. Owner password we can just leave blank. User password we'll leave blank for now. So generate. OK, that's done. So let's go to Adobe Reader. View, view the latest ebook. And you can see in the bottom left here is a padlock. If you click the padlock, you get a message, which means there's security on this PDF. So if you go to the text tool and select some text and right click, copy is disabled. So that's fine. So let's close the ebook, go back to HTML doc. Now, if we add a user password, let's say 123, save, generate. OK. Going back to Adobe Reader, open up the ebook again. What a user password is, is it prompts, well, prompts the user for a password so they can actually view the PDF. If you enter anything, it doesn't let you in. If you cancel, it doesn't let you in. If we try again and this time enter the correct password, it opens the PDF. So that's how you apply security to your PDF using HTML doc.